my dear students today we are going to learn about the classification of animal kingdom how the animals are classified we are going to learn let us be very brief animals are classified based on the presence of vertebral column if there is no vertebral column such animals are kept under invertebrata invertebrata so invertebrata includes animals which lacks vertebral column and under this certain phyla are included let us list out the phyla the first phylum is protozoa nowadays this protozoa is being studied under protista of course and traditionally it is kept under invertebrata and these protozoans are unicellular organisms the best example is amoeba euglena paramecium they exhibit protoplasmic grade of organization and it is followed by porifera 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 includes sponges and these porifera exhibit cellular grade of organization and it is followed by seal enterata seal enterata these uh, seal enterates are represented by jellyfishes hydra etc and uh, they exhibit tissue grade of organization and this is followed by flatty helminthes and nematy helminthes so flatty helminthes and nematy helminthes both are collectively called helminths majority of them are parasites and after that it is followed by anileda anilids anileda and this sanileda is represented by a free living earthworm and parasitic leech so that is about anilids and it is followed by arthropoda arthropoda and this is the biggest phylum in animal kingdom it includes insects also and insecta is the biggest class in the animal kingdom and uh, arthropoda is followed by mollusca Mollusca includes organisms that are covered with the shell. For example, snail is the best example of this mollusca. And the last phylum of invertebrata is Echinodermata. Echinodermata. And this is the last phylum. This includes starfishes. So let me sum up. Invertebrata includes protozoa, porifera, cilentarata, platyhelminthes, nematyhelminthes, anilada. Arthropoda, Mollusca, and Echinodermata. Like that, there is one more branch by name Vertebrata. Vertebrata. This Vertebrata animals include vertebral column. And this includes Pisces. Pisces means fishes in which fins are the locomotory organs. And after that, amphibians, that is amphibia. Best example is a frog. They exhibit a dual mode of life. They lead both a terrestrial life and a aquatic life. And this is followed by reptilia. Reptilia includes creeping animals. That means snakes, lizards, crocodiles, etc. Followed by yews. Yews are nothing but birds. Feathers are the most important characteristic feature of these yews. And lastly, mammalia. Presence of hair and the mammary glands are the characteristic features of this particular class, mammalia. And human being also comes under this mammalia. This is about the vertebrate. So let me sum up. The animal kingdom contains animals which are categorized into invertebrata and vertebrata. Invertebrata includes protozoa, which are unicellular, and porifera, which exhibits cellular grade of organization, cilentarata, which includes uh, hydra and uh, jellyfishes, platy and uh, nematy helminthes, uh, which are majorly parasites, and uh, anilada, which includes earthworms, arthropoda, which is the biggest phylum, mollusca, animals with a shell, and echinodermata, starfish. And coming to vertebrata, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, aves, and mammalia are included under this. So this is about the classification of animal kingdom. Thank you very much.